yes, yes, yes. That is Girl Talk by none other than the TLC. I love them. I love them, love them, love them. But um, I'm coming here today to talk to you guys about one of my subscribers. Ooh, my hair looks crazy. But um, yeah, one of my subscribers, her name is um, it's spelled D O L D R O M O F T H E M E R R Y. Um, she has a new video um, called um, 1-800-GOT-DICK. Oh my God, it's so funny. Um, it's, it's off the chain. Um, if y'all know who she is, you need to go to her page. Um, she's very authentic. She's very, um, like she sings and she's emailed me before. She wanted to know, how do you get on a video and, and talk and stuff? Because I get shy. Like, I'm shy too. Like, y'all think I'm not but i really really am like seriously i'm i'm like so shy and i know y'all probably might not believe me but i really am um she was telling me that she's a leo i'm a cancer of course um and she just wanted to know a lot of you know just some stuff or whatever that we could we you know she felt like um like we would be friends for a while and i feel that way too anybody that comes to me i'll come to my video like i will definitely reach out a hand and be positive to them that's just that's just who i am um but I am making this video I've always wanted to make a video for you I just didn't know how I was gonna do it but I'm so glad that you have your new video because boo boo this is gonna help me because it's gonna let people know yes you have a voice you have a voice if y'all don't know who she is go check her out like she can sing she is very she's very very I love how she sounds you know so if people don't like you I just want you to know you have a fan over here cupcake Mwah. but I'm going to start your video because I wanted people to know who you are so here it is. I know myself to be very likable. So why is that not enough? Why is it not enough to be likable? I'm so hard to find someone who's a good lover, That's right. understanding, and not hell bent on having total control. So let's me be my own person without feeling insecure. That's right. I'm supportive, intelligent, I can cook really well, and I'm able to live independently. I'm a hard worker, and I love to spoil my partners in love while making sure they're happy. Then why does it seem that being alone is the best choice. Of all the things I could be doing, I'm here, writing, alone, trying to make sense of the nonsense. Don't feel bad, you ain't the only one. I should still attempt to try. What sort of person does one have to be to take a woman who loves you so for granted that they'll never want to do another nice thing for anyone ever again? Amen. Not another glass of water after sex. Not another warm, damp cloth to clean you off with after you've come. Not another lovingly put together meal or a hot bath to await you after a hard day's work. I've no longer felt that way about anyone being deserving enough of my affection. Get your own towel, your own water. Don't even <laughs> ask me for sex. All right. <laughs> and so women and men have treated one another like shit and will continue to do so because it makes me fitter if I treat you badly. My genes are that much more desirable if I pretend I don't need you. My success rate as a fertile individual will increase if we just fuck and I never talk to you again. All right. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but this seems to fit the bill. The mm -hmm. method of operation, if you will. Of many I've dated and seen others accept subpar treatment from. But they're not even making children from it. Only sleeping with the next one and the next. Preach, girl. Is it yeah. not about further in the species? Then tell me what it's for them. So I've taken these cues and manifested them in my own life. After we fuck, don't call me. Ah, yes, no, God. I'm done being nice. I'm done being a given lover. I know. Lover. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm done with keeping my thoughts to myself. I know that's right. If you talk about how good your dick is, it better damn well be. Ooh. And be. Yes, I'm a size queen. I said. I know that's right. Oh, I know that's right. And if it's small, I'll laugh in your face. And tell all my friends about your false advertising. Oh, yes, so they girl, you silly. Like the guy with the small dick when you walk down the street. Oh. I'm done cooking. That ain't done right. Making sure your clothes smell good and stacked in a clean, starch pile, waiting for you to come home after you've been out with your boys. <laughs> I'm done making my, my own money and telling you it's okay. I got it. Oh. After you again left your wallet at home. Oh. I'm gonna just sit here and follow my nails and not give a Oh, yeah. I have my vibrator. I don't need anything, but thank you. And it's not like... I guess that she got a vibrator. ...to arrive at this 
Oh, yeah. Many things have happened since I hit my 20s. Many times have made it clear that maybe I was doing something wrong by being nice. But now, I've admitted my mistakes because it seems you have to be an ass to get what you want. Uh -huh. I've been far too nice, far too sensitive in imagining that if you love someone, they'll love you back. Hmm. Ignore his phone calls. It'll make him watch you more. And what do you know? The magic trick works. I get more phone calls now that I've turned into an unsympathetic alpha female I don't than I've ever had a really nice person. I don't understand that. Just beat her up and she'll go right back to you. Oh, All it takes is a bunch of roadside roses you brought on your way home from seeing a prostitute or some weed for y'all to get high off of. She'll forget all about that black guy you gave her oh. and open up her legs. Oh, see, now that's some Chris Brown and Rihanna shit. Mm -mm. And all you gotta do is call 1 800 Got Dick. Got Dick, yes! And she'll be like butter in your hand. Oh, baby daddy, I know you got like six other women pregnant too, but could you pencil me in? It's always been my dream to carry. Child for an asshole like you. <laughs> yes, yes, girl. Thanks, yes, Daddy. Yes. I know my poor decision making oh. might affect the life of this child forever. Oh. But I think it's great you're willing to take me on the Maury show later. Woo! See, this is what hurts my brain. Men and women consider how intelligent. <gasps> oh, Lord Jesus. Unintelligent behavior. Yes. Oh. How you use your brain is totally your own call. But things like the one I'm discussing fall short oh, of the potential God, for greatness and not blind, miserably. Then I started to think, maybe it could do me some good to fall in love. But then my, my talent for rationale kicks in and I remember why I never want to get married or even sleep with anyone unless they seem to have an idea of common sense. Ooh, yes, maybe one day I'll find someone who can appreciate much of what I have to offer and treat me like more than just a pussy with no face. Hell yeah. But as a whole woman, with a sense of humor, and desires to make the world a better place, one page at a time. Yes. Now, all I have to say concerning that is, <laughs> she preached. You hear me? She preached. She went in, had her word, Preach the sermon, and everybody got the word. Now everybody say, "Amen, Amen, Ooh, Amen." I got nothing but love and respect for you, Boo Boo. Keep doing you, all my cupcakes. Please, 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 keep subscribing to my videos. But please go in and show her some love. You know what I mean? Show her the love that y'all have been showing me. This girl, oh, when I tell you, <laughs> she is fierce. She is fierce. This video really showed me who she was. Girl, do not give up. Don't feel that you are alone. You are not anybody yourself. Keep doing you. Don't worry about what nobody say. Boo boo, you are beautiful. And I'm glad you did this video. I am giving you your props. I'm giving you your props. Yes, I am. Keep doing you, boo boo. Keep doing you. I am watching. I got my eye on yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love you. To all my cupcakes and my new subscribers, mwah. love you, smooches, and spread the love.